Greetings everyone, another tutorial by IT Interface. Today I'm going to show you how to take your source code in C++ language and compile it. But first we need to download this compiler. And I'm talking about Borland 5.5. Um, let's go ahead and open up your favorite web browser. Before we get started, um, this is the basic way to compile. You can get a lot of other software that will do it for you and just a single click but if you're just starting off and you're not familiar with C++ writing I suggest you do it this way so go ahead and navigate your way to Google and download uh, type excuse me type in the Borland 5.5 download and hit enter and we're looking for codegear.com go ahead and click on that link here's the download link here for the C++ compiler um, when you download this, it's going to cue you to sign in and register, and then you'll log in to download. Um, I suggest you do this. Uh, so you, it's the only way you're going to get it on your computer or install it. Um, also, go ahead and either say download the user manual for this compiler, or just save it to your favorites. Go ahead and click on the link, and this is what it looks like, and then you can just save it to your favorites. Um, but I saved it for this instruction tutorial. Um, we're going to adjust this download so this particular command line will be shorter. Just a little bit simpler but and it's also safeguards the actual executable but you need to get familiar with this manual because it has a lot of pertinent information about compiling of course. So best go ahead and download it and also download I suggest the user manual and get it on your computer. I'm going to refer back to this so I'm going to just minimize this. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and left click on it, double click, and install it. Notice that it is creating a folder, Borland, and within that folder is BCC55. Remember that. So go ahead and install it. I already have it installed, so I won't. And then open up, everybody's familiar with my computer, go ahead and open up my computer and go to your C drive. And then go to that folder on your C drive, Borland. And then go to that BCC55 file. This is where everything is. This SC file I just created for this tutorial. You'll need to right click anywhere within this folder and left click on fo new folder. And I just titled it SC in capital letters to make it easier because we're doing everything by command line, guys. Um, what you're going to do is go into your bin folder and you're going to on your keyboard lower left key is a control key hold that key down and hit the letter A and it'll select everything if you right click off of this highlighted area you won't give you a copy option so control key on your keyboard lower left bottom and then hit the letter A right click on your mouse on a highlighted area and left click on copy the reason why you're doing this is because in the file you created entitled SC you're going to go in here and right click on an empty space and left click paste you're taking everything out of the bin file that you just copied and putting it in this file you're also going to go into the include and library file control A right click mouse left click copy and also paste it within this file just like that and do the same thing with your library file. Control A, right click on your mouse, left click copy, and paste it in this file by right clicking on a blank area and left clicking on paste. Now everything in this original compiler, your executables, your library, everything it needs to compile is located in this particular file you just made which is entitled SC. Because you're going to remember this command, you'll be using it a lot. It's C, Borland file, BCC55, the file we created, SC. Guys, the second video will show us how to use this. This is just how to alter this so this particular command that they suggest has been shortened. We're not really doing anything different. It's not an alternate teaching method. It just shortens these command lines to compile when using this particular program. Alright guys, go to the second video. It'll show you how to use this.